Let me take a sip. My iced tea. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Frankie. And today I'm going to be doing my second ever video, which is going to be a wrap up for the month of June. It's like a super late wrap up because we're already like 12 days into July, but I thought that I would get it out now. So one, I would have content on my channel and two, you would know what I've been reading recently so you can get a little bit more context into like me as a reader and like what books I like and what books I read last month because that's something that obviously, you know, I gotta put out on booktube. In the month of June, I read seven books. I read one nonfiction, um, two classics, one YA dystopian, two YA fantasies, and one YA speculative fiction. So the first book I read was Backwards and in Heels by Alicia Malone. This is nonfiction. Um, it's about the past, present, and future of women working in film. I didn't give this a star rating because I don't really know how to write nonfiction. I'm not like well versed enough in nonfiction yet, um, but I thought it was really interesting. Um, it was really cool to read about the women featured. This author talked a lot about women of color too, which I thought was really cool. Um, and I'm glad that she like emphasized that. Um, and you know, overall, interesting read. I'm like interested in film. I'm a woman, so you know, pretty critical for someone like me to read. The second book I read this month was Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky. I think that's correct. This is a classic piece of Russian literature. It's about a man who decides to kill this like random old woman as like sort of a psychological thought experiment. Um, I gave this three stars. It was pretty good. Um, it was pretty rambly as like a lot of classic Russian literature tends to be. Um, there were lots of like long monologues that the characters gave that got kind of slow to read through. So, you know, that was kind of like bringing me down a little bit. Um, I did enjoy like the meditations on human nature and crime and punishment. Um, I thought they were really interesting. And Raskolnikov, the main character, he had this like kind of like funny um, inner monologue. So. You know those moments where we were like really like in his head uh, like wow he was like deciding to kill this woman or like wow he um is like trying to like get away with it i thought were really interesting i listened to this as an audiobook i have a physical copy too um but i listened while i was playing animal crossing um so i was like you know slightly distracted by the animal crossing while i was reading this or listening to it so I might have to read it again and maybe read the, my physical copy just so I can get a further understanding, <laughs> you know, because maybe, maybe I missed some things in the midst of my Animal Crossing playing, who knows. The third book that I read this month was Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. This is an American classic. Um, you probably heard of it or at least know what it was and you probably had to read it in middle school. Um, it's about a fireman who burns books in this dystopian future where books are illegal and like the job of firemen is not to put out fires, it's to start them and burn books and burn the houses of people who like keep books. Um, I gave this three stars. I was really excited to read this because I never had to read it in middle school or high school. It was never assigned to me for whatever reason. I was like kind of disappointed. It like kind of fell into the pit that I find a lot of dystopian classics falling into where like the main character is so annoying and so flat and so boring like I actively find myself like rooting against him like he's just he's got nothing to it. I also thought that the dystopia wasn't super interesting um, other than like books illegal um, there's not really a lot that's like different like they kind of talk about like technological advances and stuff but um, you know like it's kind of like centered around this whole like books illegal premise and it's not built upon as much as I would have liked. I think it's kind of just like thrown out there and you're expected to like take it and it's just like I would have preferred like a little bit more of like a robust world being built around the idea of this dystopia. I did really vibe with the writing style of this book. I thought it was pretty like dreamlike and interesting. I felt like the way that the lines blurred between like reality and the inner reality of the main character in like a lot of different situations were interesting. You know, it used a lot of metaphors, really heavy handed with, with the imagery. And I like that, I really like that a lot. The fourth book that I read this um, month was an audio book I listened to called Graceling by Kristen Kishore. Um, this is a YA fantasy 
And technically this was a reread for me because I recall reading it when I was very young, like years and years and years ago, <laughs> but I didn't remember anything about it before I started reading. And even as I was reading, I was like, I like nothing, none of this is coming back to me. <laughs> so did I read it all? I don't know. Anyway, this is set in a fantasy world where some people have like graces or special like innate abilities. Um, it follows a young woman who's graced with killing, which is like a pretty taboo grace to have. She basically works as a mercenary for like this king who is like taking her in. And she also runs this like secret council that like ov like covertly keeps the peace between like the kingdoms or like seven kingdoms. And then the story really kicks off when she meets um, this prince from another kingdom and they kind of work together to like unravel the mystery of this like kidnapped member of the royal family of that prince's kingdom. I gave this book four stars. I actually really liked it. Um, I love the characters. I love the romance. Um, you know, straight romances are always a toss up for me nowadays, but this one was really cute and I really enjoyed it. Um, I thought the world building of this story was really good. Um, it wasn't too complicated or hard to follow but it was still like um, really unique and really interesting. There were a lot of twists in this book. They really, they were really interesting. They really kept the plot moving. I really liked them. I like how they were implemented. Um, I think why a major qualm though was that the pace of this book was kind of weird, especially in the second half, but the plot was really good. So it, you know, like still kept me engaged and I really liked it. The fifth book that I read this month was The House of the Scorpion by Nancy Farmer. This is a YA dystopian and um, this is a reread for me. This is set in a dystopian world where like the drug trade is legal and it follows Matteo Alacran who is the clone of this super powerful drug lord who runs his own country. He, the country is called Opium, he deals opium. Matteo's a clone and he endures like a lot of like hatred and spite for being a clone. Um, I gave this five stars <laughs> because I really love this book. Um, I loved it the first time I read it um, in middle school and I love it now. I think the world is so incredible. It's such an interesting dystopia. I think Matt, the main character, is a really amazing character. He's really complicated. He's really nuanced. Um, you really empathize with him really deeply. A lot of the other characters in this book are really good too. Like Maria, who's Matt's best friend, and Celia, who is his like mother figure. Um, those are two of my favorite characters. This book is like simultaneously really like deep and dark, but it also is like heartwarming too. It, it has like both of those things going for them and it walks a fine line between them. And I really like that. Um, I just think that this is like an essential young adult read. Um, I don't think that like a lot of people who are into young adult would pick it up because Matt is like, the oldest age he's out he ever is in the book is 14 which you kind of like associate with like middle grade and even though the main character is younger and even though we're like in his mind you know and he's younger mind i still think that this is like a super engaging super good young adult novel and i really love it it's tea break so the sixth book that i read this month or last month was um dig by a.s king this is young adult speculative fiction um it's about these five kids who live in a small town in pennsylvania i think i think it's pennsylvania um and they all deal with like separate issues they have their separate stories um and most of their stories have to do with like um class or race and um by the end of the book the stories all end up like inter twining together i gave this book five stars i really loved it um i love how you have like kind of no idea what's going on it's like really weird it's like there are so many like weird things happening the entire time but i loved that i love sort of that like idea of not really knowing what's going on until like the end or like the middle where you get like some questions answered i like how the stories all end up connecting i think it's really cool um like you're following these like five stories that seem unconnected and like dissident but um at the end they all come together and that's I, that's really intriguing to me i also think that the deeper themes about like racism and class are packaged really interestingly in, into these stories and really effectively and like having five characters to follow there's like a lot of room to like um, explore all of those different things. I really like how there are like five separate stories. There are really more like seven because there are two kind of like 
other stories floating around. Um, I like how they're like those seven different stories, um, but it never feels like too excessive. Like sometimes I find when I read stories that follow like many different perspectives, it can get hard to follow. Some of the perspectives feel unnecessary, but um, every perspective in this book did feel necessary to the greater story. And I did like every single one of them. I was engaged reading every single one of them. I love it. Just freaking good YA. So the last book that I read in the month of June was Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. This is a YA fantasy. It follows these six outlaws in this kind of like fantasy world um, who get the chance to pull off this like nearly impossible heist for like a huge sum of money. I gave this book four stars. It really took me by surprise how much I loved it. Maybe I'm just cynical, but I really wasn't expecting to like this book as much as I did. Um, I thought that the characters were super interesting. Um, I really liked how the char like the characters individually got some like time to breathe and develop in this book. I really liked the fact that Lee Bardugo did not just like jump to put them all in relationships. I mean, you can like by the end of this book, you like can see how the relationships are going to shake out. And I assume that in Crooked Kingdom, the sequel, like those start to be like um, you know developed more. But I like how in this book it wasn't all about that and thus the individual characters got time to develop and we got time to like learn about them instead of having to like learn about them in tandem to like this other person. I think heists are such an interesting um, plot device and um, I don't read a lot about like I don't read a lot of books or watch a lot of like movies or whatever centered on heists but I, I love it when I do rarely and this is like one of those books where it's like done really well so I really appreciated that. I like how you know you're like kind of like very much thrown into this fantasy world. I'm sure if you read um the Grisha trilogy which I did not you would like know a little bit more about this fantasy world going in but I like how if you didn't read those books um you get the um rules of the world kind of like delivered to you um, in a natural way, not super like exposition heavy. Overall, I did really love this book. I love the tone, I love the characters, I love the heist, the plot, everything really good. That was my wrap up for the month of June. Um, let me know if you've read any of the books that I mentioned, what you thought about any of the books that I mentioned. Be sure to like the video if you liked um, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, you know, I'm really excited about this channel and like making the second video was really fun so I'm really excited to keep making videos. I also have all my social media links in the description so feel free to follow me um, on my Twitter, my Tumblr, or my Goodreads if you'd like and yeah that's pretty much it. Um, I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching!